Hey everyone, I'm Alessio, welcome back to my channel, where I show videos about making Unity assets, computer graphics videos and gameplays. Feel free to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to follow me on Twitter if you want to get updates on my new videos and projects. Today I'm going to show you how to make a 8K 60 frames 360 videos from Unity on a nicely done uh, scene from your projects. So first of all, uh, most of you uh, are probably aware of uh, a package in Unity which is delivered on preview, which is called the Unity Recorder. Uh, once you activate it and uh, it's updated, you can open on the general recorder, recorder window uh, a small tool that allows you to capture uh, in-game footage uh, with highest and best resolution possible. So the trick is that instead of uh, making just a normal capture with an external tool, uh, this plugin allows you also to uh, slow down the frame rate of the engine automatically so that it's able to capture every single frame of the video. Uh, as you can see, you can add different types of capture. You can capture animation clip, movie, uh, image sequence or diff animation and also as an independent channel, the audio of your scene. So what you're going to do to make an 8K capture is the following. As you can see, if we choose movie, uh, we are restricted to use just the 4K resolution, which is not what we want. Same happens if we want to do the 360 view, which is even worse because it's only limited by uh, 2048. So what I did mainly, I went to image sequence, I captured 360 view, then I selected my main camera, which is in this scene, this one, that you can see here. So that the plugin can automatically configure it as a 360 uh, camera to capture the whole scene uh, in a panoramic view. Then I'm also capturing the audio, uh, which optionally I could uh, mix down uh, using an external tool with my video. But in our case, I didn't for the uh, video that I uploaded recently uh, on my YouTube channel. As you can see, this is the result we are trying to get, uh, where the viewer can actually interact with the video in 360 and uh, with 8K resolution at 60 frames per second. Uh, there is a little bit of uh, loss in quality still due to the YouTube codecs that are used, uh, but this is so far the uh, highest quality that I uh, was able to achieve. So once you uh, make uh, the acquisition, so imagine you select the folder and then you start capturing, what happens is uh, the uh, Unity plugin will automatically play uh, your game and then it will start to capture. So after capturing, this is more or less the result that you will have. So we, you will have a sequence of pictures that are in 8K, as you can see here. And at the end, the same folder, you also get the mix down, which is the sound that you capture during your game. The good thing about this is that the resolution of the picture is extremely high quality. So if you wanted to do it uh, using the movie instead, you can still actually change the resolution to 8K. However, the codec that is used on the video uh, is uh, not as good as we could uh, uh, achieve uh, with a different tool. So I looked online and uh, I found this tool, which is called Hybrid, which many uh, professional uh, actually use uh, to generate from uh, uh, existing videos or, ima or even image sequences that uh, are stored on disk, uh, MP4 with uh, uh, very advanced custom uh, configurations. So if you are curious about the configuration that I used, you can go to this website, mysterybox.us, I will put the link on the description. And uh, this is the suggested uh, configuration that uh, I used to generate an 8K video from uh, the image sequence that I showed you before. So basically you go here, you select the X264 uh, video uh, type, then you go on the configuration to change the average bitrate and also choose 
200,000 as a default. Uh, you can probably go even higher, but uh, I'm not sure um, if it's uh, wise because it, it should impact more the size of the produced video. Here you can also select unrestricted mode so that the profile will be uh, the highest quality possible for 8K. And then if you want, you can also add an audio uh, source, which can be uh, set uh, inside the program um, without any uh, further issue. And then at the end, you just uh, start the queue and add the job to then result in this type of video. So as you can see, it's quite uh, large for just 20 seconds uh, of footage, but just to have an idea, my laptop is not uh, 8K ready, so you will probably see it uh, quite laggy. But um, if you watch it with a more powerful laptop, this is actually the footage with highest quality at 8K. The thing that is missing, as you can see, is that the video is still in equirectangular format. So it's not still in 360 um, um, visualization. So to do that, there is a second tool that you are going to use, which is called the Spatial Media Metadata Injector. Basically, what it does, it uh, adds some metadata that uh, are needed by YouTube so that your video will be considered by YouTube as a panoramic video. So what you do, you just download this tool. And then uh, once selecting through this tool uh, your video, you can just generate uh, the injected version of the video. You can do it in real time right now so that you can have an idea of what to expect. So you just open this little tool, then you just open the file uh, that you need. So in this case, you just go to our test folder. So here was the uh, scene that I showed before. So you open it and then since it's equirectangular, it automatically uh, understands that uh, it's uh, compatible with a 360 panoramic video. Uh, but you can also do more. If you uh, acquire, for example, in Unity, an image sequence, but also using stereo, uh, which allows you to have the uh, 3D stereoscopic uh, picture uh, rather than just the 2D uh, 360 one, and you can also choose the separation between the eyes to make the 3D stronger or, um, or softer. Uh, you can also select in that case the uh, second option, which is my video is stereoscopic 3D top bottom layout. And then once you do that, you can inject the metadata and just save uh, on a new file um, uh, based on the, on the previous one. So once you do that, you are ready to uh, upload your injected version of the video, which is, as you can see, the same exact size, apart from a, a, a very small uh, memory, which is used just to inject those uh, data uh, that uh, YouTube needs. So once you do that, that's exactly the result that you get. So if you want to uh, have a go and try yourself, feel free uh, to let me know how it went. And uh, I'll see you in the next video if you have any other uh, question just uh, comment uh, below and yeah it's been a pleasure to show you uh, my little trick and I hope you enjoyed it stay safe